Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. Conquests without corresponding values will soon become a transient triumph. I'm going to be talking about how a little respect goes a long way. Especially at this time, we all come across misunderstandings and even outright clashes on a weekly and even daily basis. Especially now, when the tension is fast becoming like the air we breathe. Someone I know said, after a visit to Nigeria, the problem with Nigerians is that we don't trust or respect each other. Or, by extension, when we show respect, it can be a selective one, reserved for those who help our ministry. Read eye service for that. Respect is that ability to put yourself in the shoes of the person you're interacting with and treat them like you would like to be treated, to consider them before you speak or act. For example, brushing someone aside because you're pressed for time or in a hurry, which is typical, shows a lack of consideration for them with a narrow focus on yourself. We see husbands disrespect wives and vice versa. Neighbors swap disrespect back and forth. People who meet themselves in the streets, in traffic, show utter disrespect in the way they treat their fellow men. We see people trade disrespect and prejudice on social media. Yes, our politicians openly disrespect us, but is that why we should pass the buck? We see colleagues disrespect one another, team leaders, lord it over their subordinates, as though they were never subject to another. Subordinates act haughtily towards their team leaders, as though one day they don't aspire to be leaders. There is such a thing as soft skills. Yes, soft skills are those qualities we don't get to list on our CV, but are indispensable when it comes to interacting with one another. Make no mistake, despite the current climate of social distancing, we do need soft skills now more than ever to keep us in harmony at this time of global disequilibrium. Just as disrespect is transmitted and can inspire disrespect, so respect and kindness can reverse the trend. I hear a song in my head at this point. <laughs> Try a little kindness, you'll overlook the blindness of narrow-minded people on narrow-minded streets. Now, more than ever, a little respect will go a long way indeed. Finally, we got to do the song anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, one, one, one very inspiring song. Um, um, I also, even this morning, I, I was discussing, you know, similar... Libros, you, know, you have to sing that song. I, I was waiting to hear Libros singing. No, sing it. No, I've never sing heard Libros sing it. <laughs> oh, you've never heard, don't worry, before the... Before the show is over. Um, <laughs> we'll remind him. Uh, just remind me, just, just give me the line and I will sing. Just go on, for it. Um, Try. Uh, and and um, if you see a brother walking by the road, yeah, that's the song. That's the same song right? yes. yeah. You're going the wrong, wrong way. way. Yes, we're singing the same you song. Gotta show a little kindness. Uh, yes. So anyway, just yeah. Give us your my tip. Mm. So kindness, I told them we're we're <laughs> jogging, and then I saw you know a lady, the little daughter came to hug her, and then I saw one other little girl walking behind the little daughter, and I told my friends, I said, ah, it's just so obvious that this other girl is a house head. You know, I said, I don't know why we always do this. Look at how be beautiful this young little girl is now. Look at the other minder of the little girl. Yeah, what will girl. stop this woman from treating Taking the two of, of them the same way? Take care of them the same way you make your little girls and make this other, this somebody's child also. You know, it yeah. starts from there. I say, you will give, somebody now say, no, you know, when they come from the village, they are timid. I say, yes. When you now treat them and draw them closer, you give them that self-confidence. Mm, yeah. And then they also will transmit that same confidence, that same respect to others. Before you know it... To so even your just, child. Yes, just one by showing respect and, you know, treating, you know, somebody else's child like yours. You never can tell, you know, the effect, the multiplying effect. Yeah. It starts from all of those. You, we go to church, you see somebody going to church 
and children will look all his his children will look wonderfully dressed but you see the house help behind with oversized shoes you know uh, uh, second hand gown mm. and uh, the hair is shaved to to to, to. You, you know I'm it's just you, so. the class consciousness that yes. was taken to the extreme i mean my, my mercedes is better than yours kind mm. of attitude but let me quickly chip in here the omolua the concept of the yoruba people of, okay. of nigeria which is that you treat people basically what you're saying with respect yeah that you see yourself as a good as a person of character and that you, the other person is deserving of respect and acknowledgement, no matter who they are, yeah. which is what you're also saying. Not that respecting you acknowledge class people or... as human beings, yeah. first of all, and then you acknowledge that no matter how little, there is something unique and special about them, yeah. peculiar about them, that could benefit mankind. Yeah. Even if it means being a house of helping you nurture and take care of your home and your children. It's mm -hmm. a job but, but, but that see, deserves respect. Yeah. If, even for people who have been able to cross that path, um, when it gets to pressure, when people get under pressure, a lot of them tend to lose that capacity to respect the other person. You see it in queues. No, 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 when no, Nigerians no. are lined up to... No, uh, um, it's, it's, as I, as I mentioned, the traffic but situation. But yes. I, I understand that sometimes, like Fela said, this uprising will bring out the beast. In is, the, that is a, but, that is but a reality. If, if we all you know, learn to respect the other person. You won't even get to that uprising. Yes, it will become a culture. Like, especially at this time where the world is almost at a standstill. Yeah. There are some people who can afford to stock their house. And like I was telling somebody, ah, I said, forget I about, there. Mm -hmm. I said, forget about wealth now. Those cars, 10, 5, 1, 2, they are parked now. Nobody's, mm -hmm. driving. Nobody's yeah. driving them. We are all equal. But there are some people. Who, <laughs> I like that, we're all equal. <laughs> yes. It's a leveler. There are, there are some people who you, ordinarily would expect would have money. Some of them now, because it caught them on a way, there's nothing. They, can, they can't fly, fly abroad. Exactly. You know, so there are some who do not have. By showing, extending a hand of, you know, oh, look, oh, brother, I have this. Can we sit down and share? Yeah. You, you are indirectly also showing, and teaching that kindness. person, yes. that person, some form of kindness. Yes. There are some also, before now, there are people who ordinarily will see you, my Mercedes is better than yours, to use mm -hmm. your language. And now, by showing them that, look, I have 504, but now we are all equal. Mm -hmm. Can we share this small <laughs> bread and drink that? No, I mean, actually, it, you have taught them amazing. That's, that's, that's uh, the right That's story. what I wanted to say, you know, the language I wanted to use was the way people are talking about coronavirus being infectious. Actually, respect is infectious. Yeah. You know, there's a way it someone is. will talk to you and look you in the eye like a human being. It just and it changes your everything. Spirits. Yeah, I was in the queue waiting to do stock up, you know, when we heard the speech. And someone in front of me turned around and smiled. He's a white man. I said, we're almost there. And he smiled at me. And I felt a there camaraderie was... with him. I felt that we're all in the same boat. We've been queuing for 30 minutes just to enter a shop and buy a few things. You know, so that, that okay, ability to reach across. Can, can I quickly jump in now and say something about the power situation, the electricity situation in mm. Nigeria right now? You talked about even if our politicians disrespect us, mm -hmm. should we disrespect? Mm -hmm. I think our government is disrespecting us at this, at this time. Uh -huh. Because really, at the well, end of the day, you now. shouldn't just... <laughs> he no, 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 was no, thinking no. positive because, thoughts. Because, <laughs> no, we, we <laughs> just need to chip this in. That yes. We need a bit of respect also from the government. You've asked us to stay indoors, stay home and be safe. But if you're not going to give us power, you might as well have told us that, look, we're going to be rationing. You get three hours in the morning. I mean, talk to us like human beings, like yeah. respectable citizens. I, Put I yourself in our shoes. Yes. See, I don't even want we'll to. Ration. But she's saying she cooks food that had... is spoiling because yes. there's no light. Yes. Three hours I, in I, the I morning, three hours I wanted to quickly, you know, you know, give a personal experience. That is that part of respect? Yeah. It's part of respect. Yes, it, is. It, is. It, is. it is. Respect it makes it gives you dignity yeah, yes. as a human being. It shows being. that you, 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 you think about me. Yes. yes. In yeah. the university, you know, I, in the library, the, the body written on the table, you move, you lose your seats. Okay. No, but for some of us who feels, look, you know, as a big boy, whether you are there or not, just the leave your books there. there, the seat should be there. And so I came, I left my books, I went to the class, came back, and then I saw this guy. He's my friend today, now, Ambrose, seated on the seat. You know, I needed to show him that look. That you were I'm a big, big boy. boy. I'm a big boy. And, he, he and you don't do that. So I expected him to confront me. And I said, look, didn't you see my books here? I expected him to tell me, but read the inscription there. You move, you lose. He just said, sorry. And he left. Do you know I couldn't sit on that seat? 
I was like, it deflated me. The, big boy out the, the ego, you know, the anger, went everything went out of the window. And it was reading. I went to beg him to go take back the seat. You because see? I couldn't sit on it. You, see? Right. you know, so that taught me something. That was, you know, sometimes, you know, that I will kill, I will do this. Mm. One simple than respect. You can deflate all of that. Wow, yeah, that was a good, I like the way you ended on that. Well, respect means that we listen to the opinions of others, and this is where we listen to you. On the last edition, Tim simply says, nice video, keep it up. Well, thanks Tim, with your encouragement, we will. On let the real governors please stand up, Oladele Dosumu says, easier said than done. See what's happening to Shori. I agree with you, but Nigeria and Nigerians are a tough nut to crack. Our mindset and mentality is the challenge holding us back. The question is, how do we get through to people to let them know that they are more powerful than they think they are, if we act collectively to help each other? Oladili, we don't have all the answers, but certainly now is a good time to speak out and stand up for what is right. Okay, next, the next comment on the matter of Abueros at Uyo Airport. One viewer has a personal account to give. My brother, these people for you almost embarrassed me just at the point of walking in for screening. They said, see that woman by the left, which I thought was another searching point. Just for her to say, pay 1,500 for me to stamp your ticket. Thank God the hire taxi I used during my stay in Uyo was still on standby and the driver said he was waiting for me to take off before leaving. So I had to call him to give me cash. Then I transferred the cash to his account. At that point, to show appreciation, I parted with 2,000 Naira. This video, uh, this video, I will spread it as far as I can, as it was an embarrassing experience. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much for that feedback. And do keep your comments coming in on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocates NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocates NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. As they say, good news travels fast, perhaps even faster than bad news. Isn't that right, Libras? Yeah, you got that right, Akene. I have some good news of my own after the break. <laughs> <laughs>